I've always been interested in machines and computers and getting computers to do interesting and exciting things. And when I realized there was a possibility to actually work in robotics, I jumped at the opportunity. The general area that I work in is artificial intelligence, which is the study of building machines that are able to act intelligently. Under this, there's two sub areas, and the one is machine learning, which is one approach to artificial intelligence that relies on learning from experience. So we'll have systems that get better over time the more experience they have. When we talk about robotics, the aspect I care about there is the intelligence of robotics. So I want machines that are able to interact with the real world and do intelligent things with them. A great example is the way something like Siri works on your phone, that it can understand your voice. Face recognition, emotion recognition, these sorts of tasks that require you to have a machine that can understand something that's going on in the real world. Our team specifically looks at how to learn behaviors, and we're really interested in the question of transferring knowledge between different problems. So if I have a robot that can solve one problem, let's say I teach it to mop the floor, now, if I want to teach it to sweep the floor, it should be easier to learn to do that because it already knows how to mop the floor. You learn from experience, you learn from trial and error. So when we're running experiments and building models, we might have these models that could train for hours or days. And if we've made a mistake, then that could be written off and we might have to redo it. The work we do relies on a thorough understanding of mathematics. We use principles from different areas of science. One of the other big areas is computer science, where programming is a big aspect of what we do. Machine learning is a field that has very widespread applications. And two of the areas I'm most excited about is in healthcare and in education. Being able to diagnose and treat diseases and being able to automate this could help the rollouts to a number of communities across Africa. We're also looking at questions around education and if we can improve the quality of education that individual students receive, I think this will have a huge impact on society.